Hello, I'm Sergeant Tom Letris with the Stanislaus County Sheriff's Department, and this is your daily update for Thursday, May 7th, 2020. So tonight we have went live with our new dashboard. I know many of you have asked a lot of questions and wanted our dashboard to be uh, broken down by more specific areas. So what we've done is our dashboard now breaks down our positive tests based on zip code, not on city, but on zip code alone. Also, uh, we have a new uh, area on there that shows our deaths and it includes the age and genders of the deaths in Stanislaus County. There's additional stuff that breaks down demographics uh, and ethnicity on the page. So be sure and go to our, our webpage and we'll link that here in the uh, message portion of this. You go to the new dashboard, take a look at the different statistics that are updated. We've done that because many of you have asked. So uh, we are happy to be able to finally get that information out to you. Now, last night we had our weekly question and answer period. And I noticed in many of the comments that people felt like you're not answering the hard questions. You're dodging these questions. And what I want to tell you is that some of these questions, we just don't have the answers to. Uh, right now with this COVID-19 response, we have some of the greatest minds in science. Uh, we have doctors. All kinds of people are working on this COVID-19 response. We are working on the best scientific data that's available. And sometimes these variables can change. We've never dealt with COVID-19 before. So we're not sure how it will respond long term. Uh, is this something that's going to come back? Is this something that we can get more than once? Many, many of these questions keep getting asked and a lot of times we're learning as we go. Now, as a county, our response, we are working as quickly and safely as we can to try to open up our businesses. We understand both sides that some of you feel that COVID is a hoax uh, by our media. It's government trying to control us and to try to keep us locked up and to take away our freedoms. There are others of you that feel strongly that if we open everything up right now, that we're gonna have a huge loss of life. These are things that we grapple with on a regular basis and try to balance out uh, the economic loss, the freedom loss, and the loss of lives. Ultimately, when COVID is said and done, history will judge what was right and what was wrong what choices we made that saved human lives, what choices that lost, what choices caused the loss of economy and business. But these things are all much greater than us. What I can tell you is that we can just keep working forward to do the best we can do to, to try to protect human lives as well as our economy. There may be a time where we open things up and COVID-19 forces us to shut back down or scale back. Those are all of the things that we are looking at right now as we try to figure out how to get everything back to what is our normal. Uh, and it may be a while before we get back to a full normal. So uh, I just want you to know that it's not that we're trying to duck questions or avoid these, these difficult questions. There's just a lot right now uh, that we don't actually have an answer to. So thank you for tuning in uh, and we will be back with you again for the update tomorrow night.